All right, so based on the information, the first thing you're going to want to do is draw a triangle. Now, many students go ahead and draw the triangle like that's on the board. They put 40 degrees here, and then they say A equals 54, and they put B here, that's 62, and then they recognize there's nothing for C, right? Now, if you guys remember from last class period, what I told you was those triangles are fine, but you can't, I just, erased, I just wrote on you, sorry about that. Um, you guys can't be, you can't just say that's how my triangle is always going to look, right? You got to be flexible, all right? Yes. Um, so one thing that I did talk about in this class was when we recognize this as a side-side angle, the ambiguous case, we do want to draw a triangle so it looks like this. Angle, side, side. Draw it so it looks like that. Because my notes that I gave you in our describing of the situation, all the triangles look like that. And that's the way the triangles are going to look again for me to explain why this makes sense. So what I'm going to do, well, I don't have my triangle look like this. Well, guess what? Just swap your angles, right? Make this C and that B. Now it's an angle, side, side. Does everybody follow? Yeah. OK. Now, what we did last class period, if you guys remember our warm up, is I gave you guys, I said, find the height. So what we did is we found the height. And let's say we called this A. And let's call this B now. And then we said, well, guys, if we're going to create, if we're going to find the height, then we could say that the sine of A is equal to H over B. So therefore, H equals B times the sine of A. Right? And we did this. And the reason why we found height, the only reason why we found the height was so I could show you guys where the area formula came from, as well as where the law of sines formula came from. Yes? We didn't use the height to solve any triangles. Okay? And I'm not going to want you guys to use the height to solve triangles. However, the, site, the height is helpful, though, when we have this case. Because if I know the height is really just the near side times the angle, I can say this height here, I can just say h for this problem is just going to be 62 times the sine of 40 degrees. That's really quick and easy and fast for me to go ahead and type into my calculator. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Wherever my calculator is, there it is. So why don't we just type that into our calculator to like make sense of this. So I just type in 62 times the sine of 40. And I get h is equal to a 39.853. Now, why, wh what is the height going to help us out with? Like, why would I want to know about the height? Well, again, the math to find the height is fairly simple. Just plug that in. Now, again, let's look at our cases. Because again, angle side side was not a congruency statement, right? It does not prove congruency. And so what it does is it doesn't give you enough information. Okay? It doesn't give you enough information to know what type of triangle you have. It does not provide enough information. That's why it's ambiguous. It could give you no triangle at all, one triangle, or two triangles. So let's kind of make sense again. Let's redraw these triangles and make sense of these three cases. So here's A. We know A is 40 degrees. Here's 62. We know that the height is 39. Now, let's just say for fun that A was 15. Now again, guys, remember, this can be extended as far as it wants. Like We have no idea how big angle C is or how long side length C is, correct? We have no idea. This side length, we know these are all fixed. So therefore, I could basically rotate this angle any way I want to. Now, however I rotate this side length, am I ever going to create a triangle? No. no. So one thing we recognize is if we find the height, and we recognize the height is bigger than the opposite side, there's no triangle. So I would, the question that I will ask you is, you know, does this information produce a triangle? Well, in our problem, we found the height to be 39. We see that that's smaller than that side. So we know there at least is a triangle, correct? So we can further, so we can continue moving on. So you know, if it was a multiple choice question, we know that no triangle exists is not the correct answer. So let's move to the next situation. Again, here's A. 40 degrees. Here's 62, which is B. And then let's pretend, so we have A is 39. Let's pretend instead of this being 54, let's pretend this is 100.
Now again, let's look at if we were to rotate this. However I rotate it, now again, we don't know how long this side length C is, right? So we could extend this as far as I want. So as I rotate it this way, does it make a triangle? No, but if I rotate it this way, you guys can see I can create a triangle, right? Because we have no idea what C or C is. So therefore, the idea is if our, we, find our, you know, we find our height, that makes it no triangle. That's fine. If we compare this side is obviously bigger than the height, we know that the triangle exists. But if this is larger than the other side, we know only one triangle exists. So therefore, if this side is less than that, then therefore we know that two, two triangles are exist. And again, let's kind of make sense of that one real quick. So again, going back to the same case, here's A, 40 degrees. Here's B, 62. And then this one, let's do this example we have, 54. And this is 39. So now, as I rotate this triangle, you guys can see that as I rotate it in, since that side length is shorter, since this is shorter than that, you can see that it's going to, be, it's going to create another triangle. That's why there's two triangles that exist. There is the obtuse triangle and the acute triangle. So the only reason why I was telling you guys to find the height, or what we use the height in there, was if I was to give you this problem, is it one, two, or no triangles? I think finding the height, like look at this problem. You find the height. Is this bigger than the height? Yes, there's one triangle. Is this shorter than that side? Yes, so guess what my answer is? Two triangles, done. OK, move on to the next problem. You see how quick that was? Right? That was fast. We like that. I, like, I think that's easy to understand and easy to do.